Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mola, and in this video, what we're going to see is some of the issues that we may have when we try to be online with the controller. So let's go to the software. So this is one of the uh, common issues or warnings that we have on the software Ecostructure Machine Expert when we're trying to be online with a controller. So when you receive this, no worries, no panic first. So we need to pay attention of this version mismatch. The version version mismatch is related to the firmware on the PLC. So if you take a look over here in the communication settings, and you can see here the firmware version. This is the firmware of the PLC they are trying to connect to. So it says online, it has this firmware version. Now the selected is this firmware version and it means that probably you're using a version of ecostructure machine expert or some machine different to the one that is on the controller so you can see here i'm using the version 2.2 .2 on this particular case so if i try to connect once again i have this issue now if i open the version 2.1 okay i'm trying to log in You can see here you can see a little bit of the run okay and i'm connected with the controller without any issue and this is because this version of firmware belongs to that software version so let's have a look at controller assistant so if we open the controller assistant we should be able to have further information about this let's open on the other side okay so if we try to connect with the version 2.2, .2, okay, have a look over this. So, update firmware. In my case, I'm trying to connect to a Modicon M251, this one, with that version. So, if we select the M251, here you can have all the different versions I have already installed in my PC. So, you can see the selected version is 5.2 something something and that is because it belongs to another version 2.2 .2. this one the one uh, 5.1 belong to the version of machine expert b2.1 okay so if we are working on the version 2.2 .2, then it means that i need to update the firmware of the m251 okay so there are different ways to do it. I have already explained that in the different videos. So if you know the password of the N251, then you can proceed on this way. So you can go further, select, configure this if you want. Next, just wait for it. And then you should be able to access to the controller. Okay, just wait for it a little bit and here you have the possibility to use on an sd card or directly to the controller okay now if you don't know the password then the best option is to use the sd card so we will reset all the credentials that you have on the controller and that probably will be mandatory if you're using some machine because probably you need to check uh, maybe the plc has a password and in some machine we don't have that thing as credentials so probably use SD card is going to be the easiest the other thing the other thing that you need to check if you're using M241 or M251 is that if you're using some machine there is a specific version that you need to use of the firmware otherwise it will not work okay and I have created another video for the uh, compatibility firmware so this is the issue that we have okay if you have this select the target system is different from the client to device version is match just need to check which is the software that you're using right now and which is the firmware the firmware can be cdc over here and in order to check which is the firmware that you need to use just go back home in case you don't know and here you have the possibility to select which one is the one that you have okay but basically you just need to change the firmware of the m251 if you want to download your project okay if you have a different one 
then you just need to find the right version of the software in order for you to connect okay so um this is it i will also share how to change the firmware of the controller and via usb internet and sd card and also the compatibility firmware on the description so um, this is it for these um error message the uh, version mismatch okay there is nothing to worry about just need to change the firmware on the controller itself thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.